everyone, so today's video is going to be a what's in my bag video because a couple months ago, well, about a month ago I would say, I uh, tweeted that I finally purchased one of the bags that's been like my dream bag for probably, probably like over five years because I first saw it on Kristen Cavallari like, I think it was like right like out of the Laguna Beach days, so that's a long time ago. It's just a bag I can never just go and buy because it's super expensive. So finally saved up for it and I actually got it because the website I bought it from had a, you know one of those sales where if you spend like $100 you get this much off. If you spend $500 you get $200 off. You know those kind of sales, that's what they were having. So I saw the sale and I knew I could get this bag at a discount with that sale. What I'm talking about is the Alexander Wang Rocco Duffel. So I will put the name and everything down below in the description box along with the website that I purchased it from. It's the Rocco Duffel with the rose gold hardware. So it's just black on both sides and then it has rose gold studs all on the bottom and it's just like the prettiest, shiniest studs ever and rose gold details. Before I get into what's in my bag, it's a pretty clean bag considering that I just recently started carrying it. Even though I purchased it like over a month ago, I didn't actually start carrying it. I'm not sure why. Um, until like recently. So it's pretty clean inside and I don't have that much stuff. Um, but I just wanted to kind of talk about the price and that kind of thing because I don't want people to think, oh, I'm bragging or anything like that because like I already said, I had to save up for this bag and I really only got it because I got it at a good discount on ShopBop. I didn't mention that yet, but I got it on ShopBop.com, which I've mentioned that website a bunch in my videos because it's one of my favorite retail websites to shop at. It's kind of like, you know, Macy's or Nordstrom's where they sell a lot of different brands all on one site. I'll put the link below if you want to um, like sign up for their emails because that's when they'll email you like discounts and stuff. Again, I'm not sponsored. It's just a website that I really love um, and they have the best jewelry selection. I know like my two loves are nail polish and jewelry and they have the best jewelry on there. Like such unique pieces that I just love. And when I watch what's in my first videos, especially when it's like designer bags, um, I always wonder what the price is anyway. It'll splurge and it's the most money I've ever spent on myself on anything, that's my phone, besides my car. So the bag itself was $875. I know that's so much, but ShopUp had the sale where if you spent over $750, you got like $250 off of your purchase. So that's when I bought this and only this because it was friggin' expensive. Crazy and heavy. I, it is so heavy. It feels like you have about four full water bottles in here when there's like hardly anything in my purse. So that's one thing to consider if you like want to purchase this or if you want to like save up for it in the future and stuff. It's a super heavy bag, but it does come with a strap so you can carry it on your shoulder like if you're shopping and stuff, which is nice because always carrying it on my arm, I've found that it's just, it hurts my arm. It like wants to break it off. I have my, I took my organizer from my... Uh, Louis Vuitton bag and put it in here. So I will show you that once I take everything out. But I actually have jewelry in here because yesterday, I don't know why I have jewelry in here. I have two pairs of earrings. Well, one pair of earrings, but two earrings. And these are from Forever 21. I wear these in a lot of my videos. I've had these for years and they were like $5 from Forever 21. And they're still super sparkly hoops. None of the little crystals have fallen out. And I should probably wear them today. That'd be pretty. But yeah, I don't know why those are in there. I think I had them on at Frankie's parents' house and we were driving home and they hurt me or something so I took them off. Then I have this bracelet from Bobble Bar I got in a birch box a while ago. That's in there because I was just showing his mom different bracelet types and stuff that I liked because she makes jewelry. And this Sashi bracelet as well, which I got this on Shop Up. That's totally a quinky dink. Then I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses. These I wear in a lot of vlog videos on my boyfriend's YouTube channel and seriously everyone always asks him what uh, model these are and so I don't know off the top of my head the model number of these. They look like this. They're super cute. Um, but I will put the model number of these Ray-Bans in the description box down below for everyone that's been asking about that. I just have my car keys and my little monkey keychain. My wallet, the same wallet I've had in my last two What's In My Bag videos. I got it from Target like 10 years ago, probably not 10 years ago, but it seems like 10 years ago because it's so old and it's still like nothing has like damage on it. I use it every single day obviously and I like it a lot. I do want to get like a designer wallet but they're just crazy expensive. I've said that before and I don't know, I like this one so still have that. Then I have two YSL lipsticks. I've been kind of alternating between the two, number 19 and number 2. This one's like a nude and this one's a pink. I'm wearing number 19 today and on top of it I have this gloss which is Tarte, where's the name? Amused. So that's what I have on my lips so that's why it's in my bag. A Burt's Bees chapstick. It's my favorite chapstick. A Buxom, this is like a lip liner slash lipstick type of pen. This is in the shade uh, Sydney. It's like a nude color. And I have two mirrors. 
because I have a reason for having two mirrors in my bag because I have tissues. I have like a chronic runny nose problem. I don't know what it is, but my nose is always running, especially when I eat. And I thought about going to the doctor for it, but I don't know if it's like that big of an issue. I don't really know. So I always have tissue and mirrors. Oh, I have the mirrors because when I do like wipe my nose and stuff, I like to check and make sure I have like no boogers on my face. Um, yeah, maybe that was too much information, but it's the truth. The Burt's Bees Chapstick. This is the SPF one, the sun protecting one. I actually don't like this one at all, but I seem to use it whenever I can't find like my normal ones. <laughs> I have a hair clip. Oh, I have one more thing. A little pair of stud earrings. I've been looking for these. They're in the pocket of my little um, organizer. These are from Forever 21, but they're just like little diamonds. And then this is what I actually had everything in. And I keep it, uh, I love to use these kind of organizer things because then the bottom of your purse doesn't get dirty if anything spills or whatever. And also there's tons of pockets around the outside. And I got a lot of questions about this on um, my last what's in my purse and I just searched on eBay like purse organizer and that's what came up so there's like a thousand listings on those. That's everything that's in my bag. Definitely recommend signing up to Shopbop. Well it's not like a sign up website, it's just a regular retail website. It's not like a monthly subscription. It's just a normal shopping website but when I say sign up I mean you know you put your email in there and that way they'll email you when they have like uh, their really big discounts and stuff. I don't know if that makes any sense. So I'll put the link down below. I'll put the name of this purse down below. Again, I hope I didn't offend anyone by showing a super expensive bag because I know that it's really not affordable. Um, and a lot of you guys on Twitter have been wanting to see this baby. Mm, love it. So, yeah, that's my bag and that's what's in it, guys. I hope that you like this video. Tomorrow, I'm going to film um, a nail polish haul because I promised that. A nail polish haul or a clothing haul because I kind of went shopping a little bit too. Also, I have a fun nail tutorial that I'm going to film tomorrow too, so I don't know what one's going to go up first. I just have like so many ideas lately and I never know like what order to put the videos up in because I don't want people to get bored with like a lot of nail videos in a row or like a lot of like haul videos or makeup tutorials in a row, so I try to like switch it up and keep like a variety on my channel. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. I hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. That was pretty cool because I just kind of signed up recently. At least I feel like I did. I was like the last person in the world to get Instagram because I have an Android phone and they kind of recently just had, you know, brought Instagram to Android phones. So 10,000 Instagram followers is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll have all those links down below if you'd like to check it out. But I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for future tutorials coming up. And yeah, thank you for subscribing and watching. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you very soon.